Good morning, my lovelies. I wanted to go over day seven and eight, uh, the Jacksonian democracy, so that you can understand how to use this platform. This is a new one that we have not used previously. So I wanted to walk you through on how to accomplish this assignment. Okay, so first, you are looking at Google Classroom for my first period class. Your assignment will look the same in uh, seven, in uh, five, six, and seven. Okay, so what you're going to do first is select sign in to actively learn. Okay, then you will get a screen that says uh, sign in with Google. So you'll need to sign in with your Google account in order to pull up the uh, document. Now yours will look different than mine, obviously, because I have grades where it posts grades and questions and all that kind of stuff over on that side. However, your text will be the same. So it starts here and it reads all the way through. So you will need to read the entire actively learned document. There are questions that are interspersed throughout according to the article so far. What problem did some Americans see with American democracy? Then you'll continue on. The next question you'll have, what was Andrew Jackson's background like? So you'll have to explain that. Moving right along. Continue to read. There are five total questions. I have shown you two. This is the third one. Is the cartoon above critical or supportive of Jackson? Now, it's looking at the one, the cartoon that is posted here. It's General Jackson slaying the many-headed monster. Okay, so that's what you're need needing to focus on. Okay, scroll down. Question four, whose perspective is represented in this political cartoon? Now, we've been through this before. We actually looked at this cartoon in class, King Andrew the First. Okay, so you should have some background knowledge previously of what this cartoon means and what's going on within the cartoon since we've been over this cartoon before. Okay, now we're going to go down to question number five. And question number five says, should Jackson be remembered today as a hero for democracy? Give reasons from the text to support your answer. Okay. And that is the end of the text. So scroll back up to the top. <clears throat> Once you have completed this, you will turn it in. Okay. And what I want you to do while you are reading is pay attention to this question here. Okay. It says, as you read, consider the question. Should Jackson be remembered today as a hero for democracy? Okay. So to access this assignment, you will need class codes for it. So the code for my first period class is Q G P. B8. For my 4 or 5 class, it is V, F, 6, R, I. For my 6 period class, it is 4, M, A, H, I. And for my 7th period class, the code is H, N, Z, A, R. So you should be able to work on assignments for days seven and eight. I know a lot of you have finished up to this point, so this should be helpful for you to move forward. Um, I posted the information regarding uh, April the 1st through the 10th lesson plans. However, they are not set up. They will not be set up until Monday for you to begin those lesson plans on Wednesday. If you have any questions, as a reminder, please email me at dbwalker at greenvilleschools.us. That is the best way to reach me. 
If you try to post a message on Google Classroom, sometimes that gets lost in translation and I'm slow to respond. But I am here if you have any questions. Um, uh, my hours are from 8.30 in the morning to 3.15 in the afternoon. Okay, so don't hesitate to ask. Miss you guys. Hope you guys are doing really well and hope to see you soon. Bye.